Hey everyone, it's Kenny Bostic, and today I'm excited to see the unveil of the new Lexus TX at the Constellation Stadium here in Houston, Texas. So let's go ahead and check out this brand new model. All right, everyone, let's check out some of the new exterior colors offered on the new Lexus TX. Here we have a Celestial Silver Metallic TX 350. This is a new shade of silver offered in the lineup. And this is the new Lexus Spindle Body Grill. Now, the easiest way to distinguish which package this model is, is based on the wheels. So this one has 20 inch alloy wheels in the dark machine finish. And these are offered on premium and luxury grade packages. We also have a new exterior color for white, which is called windshield pearl. These look like to be 20 in 22 inch alloy wheels, which is an upgrade it looks like on this one. They have all the doors locked right now, so I can't really see the inside. But this one looks like to be a black leather interior. This is a Matador Red Mica exterior. And I believe this one has the peppercorn leather interior. peppercorn is going to have that dark brown interior. Now this is a TX550 plug-in hybrid. We won't be getting these at first, so it won't be until the next year that we'll get the plug-in hybrid. This is in the Cloudburst Gray. This one also has 22 inch alloy wheels and with a peppercorn leather interior. And here we have the TX500H Sport Performance in the incognito exterior. Has the same powertrain as the RX500 with a direct four all wheel drive system with 366 horsepower. And these wheels are also an upgrade on this model. These are 22 inch alloy wheels in the gloss black finish. So a few ways to distinguish the Esport Performance versus a premium or luxury. The Esport Performance is gonna have this silver garnish on the bottom of the grill. That lets you know that it's an Esport Performance versus a premium or luxury. We'll just have your standard grill. The Esport Performance will also have blacked out mirrors and blacked out window trim as well. Versus the chrome window trim on a premium or luxury package. This one looks like a caviar exterior. And this one looks like it has a black leather interior. Now, I want to mention that there's two main differences between these two. One of these is a RX500 Premium. The Premium is not going to have all the options that the luxury package will have. It's kind of hard to see, but I noticed on this one, this one doesn't have a sunroof. And that's not an accident. This is actually how they're going to build this one. So if you get a Premium TX500H, it's not going to have a sunroof. But if you get a luxury TX500H, it will have a sunroof. So this one's gonna have the full pano moonroof. So you can see on the outside, it goes all the way back. There's no option for a smaller sunroof. That's just the way that they're building these cars. Another important thing I wanna mention is that when you option for a TX500 hybrid or a TX550, it will only come with captain seats. It will not come with the bench seat. And that's because of the weight restrictions that are on the hybrid model because they are not able to support a bench seat. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at the hybrid model, you can only get it with a captain seats. And I'll show you more what those seats look like later. This one's going to have the YS Sport bucket seats. You have your ultra suede trim and an upgraded 21 speaker Mark Lemson audio system. This one looks like it has captain seats in the back. 
Now I'm surprised this one doesn't have a sunroof. This is another TX500 in the incognito exterior. This one looks like it has a black new Lux interior. Now this one is a luxury package because it has the full pano moonroof. This one is featured in the peppercorn leather interior with an upgraded 21 speaker Mark Lundson audio system. You got your ultra suede trim and your standard 14 inch display and a 12.3 inch display cluster. Here's another TX350. This one's all wheel drive in the Nightfall Mica exterior with a birch leather interior. So let's check this one out. Oh, well, this one's locked, but this is what the birch leather interior would look like on this model. You can see it also has the ultra suede trim as well. Here's another TX350 all wheel drive in the Celestial Silver Metallic. This one also has the birch interior as well. So here's the Cloudburst Gray TX350. This one's pretty much optioned with all the accessories that you can get. This one has the upgraded 22 inch alloy wheels. You can option this on a 350 apparently. So that is an extra add on that you can get. You also got the rear cargo room inside here. And of course you got your peppercorn leather interior on this one. And another thing that they mentioned that is that inside you can option for LED lights in the rear tailgate area. So that is also an additional option. And you got your cargo, illuminated cargo seals as well. Push, there you go. So on the 12.3 inch display gauge cluster, you can customize the information through the same buttons to control your head of display. So as I move the left and right arrows, disregard all those warning lights. This is screen one, this is screen two. You have a screen three and a message display. So you have up to four different screens that you can change as you're driving and they'll all display various different information on your gauge cluster. So that is a pretty cool feature on this one. And of course, all TX models will feature standard LED headlights with LED turn signals, daytime running lights, LED fog lights, and cornering lights. No triple beams offered as an option on this model yet. And of course, in the rear, you have your new LED rear tail lights with LED turn signals as well and LED reverse lights. I also want to mention that the plug-in hybrid will actually not be coming out for this year. That will be in the following year. This TX is featured in the Celestial Silver Metallic with a peppercorn leather interior. And it has captain seats. So 
So depending on which trim level that you get, you can either get captains or bench seating in the back. Now on most of the base models, it'll be bench seating, but if you get a premium or luxury package, you can get either the bench or captain seats. The captains is gonna be standard on luxury, but on premium, you can choose from either one of them. And it looks like you have removable cup holders. So here we have the new TX versus the current body style GX. So of course the new TX is gonna have a lot more room in the back. Of course the GX doesn't have that extra room in the back. It's pretty tight back here, which has been kind of a struggle for this model. But versus the TX, in addition to the third row, you still get the additional room back here for extra cargo space. So that's one of the biggest differences between this model and they also even have an RXL, which of course was already discontinued. But because you have the space back here, you're limited on who can sit in the third row in this model. So the TX does have better space in the back as far as seating for the third row. So when comparing the options to the TX versus the Grand Highlander, some of the biggest differences are when you go into the rear tailgate area, uh, the Grand Highlander actually doesn't have power folding third row seating. This is all manual, but on TX, you can get this on either a premium or luxury package. So that is one big difference. And another difference is that in the interior of the vehicle, this model has a 12.3 inch display screen, but Lexus TX offers a standard 14 inch display the Highlander, the Grand Highlander also has standard door handles, but the new TX has a digital latch handle. This model also does not come with a digital review mirror, so that's on the TX as well. So really it just comes down to the fit and finish and really the extra options that you get, but they are both gonna be the same size. Same size, just different options and equipment. And obviously the drive is gonna be a little bit different as well. Here are the differences between the RXL and the TX. For your guests who may print out a build my Lexus sheet from Lexus.com, for instance, this is what we're doing for now based on what we think or what. So, the MDX is the best selling model for Acura, but when you compare it to the new Lexus TX, it is missing a lot of the options you would expect on a luxury vehicle. As soon as you get inside the vehicle, the whole dash seems a little bit cluttered with all this information. There's a touchpad, there's a dry mode, a gear shifter some charging pads. This wireless charging pad is huge. And keep in mind, this is not a touch screen. You have to control this through a touch pad, which of course they removed that on older Lexus vehicles. So the size is almost, seems like on the RX 350L, it seems comparable in that aspect, but it just seems a little bit lackluster. And for what you're paying for on this vehicle, you would expect it to have just as much as the TX. And the price of this car particularly is about, let's see, 64000 So when you compare it versus the TX, what are you really getting? All right, guys, I'm officially exhausted after that three hour drive back from Houston to San Antonio. So I wanna go ahead and share some important information I learned about the TX and how they're gonna build the TX in our Southern region. So Lexus is primarily focusing on building a premium package or a luxury package. They're also gonna build a base model as well. 
Now the base model is not gonna have very many options on it. It's not gonna have memory seating. It's not gonna have a sunroof or parking sensors. So it's pretty much gonna be kind of a strip model. Now they are gonna build more premium and luxury packages. So the premium package will have memory seating, heated and ventilated seats, and it'll also have parking sensors as well. Now you can option for both either the bench seats or the captain seats in the premium package, but in the luxury package, you can only option for captain seats. That's just the way that they're gonna build it for our region. So there's a lot of things that they went over today. I wish I wrote everything down, but I got as much information as I could from this session today, and I hope this was beneficial to you guys. Now, if you are interested in purchasing a Lexus TX from us, I work at North Park Lexus at Dominion in San Antonio, Texas, and we would be happy to help you out if you are located in the San Antonio area. We are accepting deposits on TX models, but only if you live in the San Antonio area. If you live outside of that area at the moment, we cannot assist with that since we're trying to fulfill the needs of our guests in our current area. But if you do want us to help you out, let us know. We'd be more than happy to put you on the TX waiting list. We will start getting this model at the end of this month, so we will be seeing more of these vehicles here at our dealership. And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Kenny Bosick. I was the Lexus Technology Specialist at our dealership, and I now work as a sales assistant. So I work under one of our top reps, so I help him with all his guests. But if you have any additional questions that I didn't answer or that you're unsure about, please let me know in this video. I'd be happy to go over it with you. I did get a lot of good information, so I hope this can help you out in some way of ordering the vehicle or just seeing how it looks in person. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support on my channel. And as always, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon in the next video. I love this cloudburst gray with the peppercorn leather interior. Grand Highlander, RX350L, Lexus TX, and Lexus GX.